Everyone knows about the shopping experience in North America. The large, boxy building, usually dominated by a single massive corporation like Target, Walmart or Costco. This building is usually located next to a large, busy road or preferably next to a highway exit, surrounded by a Pacific Ocean of parking. This phenomenon started after the Second World War in North America, but unfortunately, it has spread to other parts of the world. In this video, we'll visit two American-style suburban developments in my city of Prague, Czech Republic. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps out a ton. Thanks and on to the video. The first development is located here in the south of Prague, in a district called Velká Kuchle, or as it's most commonly known, that place with the horse races, because there's literally nothing else there. It consists of a Lidl supermarket, a KFC joint and a hobby big box store called Hornbach. This development opened in two phases. The Hornbach hobby market opened in 2016 and the Lidl supermarket and KFC opened in 2021. Before that, this place was just a forest. As you can see from this satellite image, it's next to a major road and is absolutely drowning in surface parking lots. There is a single public transport stop, a bus stop, but only in one direction. If you want to come here from the south, you'll have to get over here, at the Starolazenska bus stop, and walk quite a long distance. There is a rail line running in the area, but the nearest train station is Praha Velká Kuchle, located here, about a 20 minute walk away. Of course, I could continue yapping about it in my room, but to really get a grasp of how the place looks and feels, let's go there. And here we are. At first, I felt really out of place in this environment. Everything is so large, partly because every sign is made to be read while driving. If someone is coming from the major road on the east, they read the signs while driving up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles per hour. It's clear that the designers of this place want you to drive, with just how much space is allocated to cars. Only the KFC is accessible without having to walk through a parking lot. To get to the supermarket, you have to walk through a short section of parking. The biggest offender by far is the hobby market. If you want to get there on foot, you have to walk through an ocean of parking, with no sidewalks, of course. This is the quintessential car-centric suburban development. A forest being cut down and paved over with thousands of square meters of surface parking, only to house a few stores. The development is also far away from everything else. There's almost no housing nearby, except for a few single-family houses in the south. However, I will commend the presence of numerous electric vehicle charging stations, and the fact that the Lidl supermarket has solar panels on its roof. It's nice that they are there. They definitely don't redeem the place, but at least they make it a little less crap. Unfortunately, this isn't the only car-centric suburban shopping development in Prague. Let's go to another one. Welcome to Zlichin, the resting place of all weird entities on public transport. If we pull up a satellite map of the area, again, all we see are wide roads and seas of parking. These developments were all created in the post-communist mall boom of the 90s and early 2000s, probably drawing inspiration from similar North American malls and shopping complexes. In terms of transit connections, there is the Zlichin metro station and numerous buses that run to the area. However, it's clear that again, the designers want you to drive. Just look at the sheer size of those parking lots, the numerous wide roads and the D0 highway running there. There are three clusters of developments in this area, the Metropolis Lichin Mall, the Globus department store with the KFC and the Home Park Shopping Center, which features a large IKEA. In my opinion, the mall is nothing special. It's just tens of thousands of square meters of stores spread over a large field with a gigantic surface parking lot. The Home Park Shopping Center reminds me of a North American strip mall, but larger. It's just numerous shops next to each other, again, with a massive surface parking lot. People may say, but we need huge parking lots for the IKEA store, we can't transport large pieces of furniture on public transport. I think this argument is flawed. This is the IKEA West Bahnhof store in Vienna, Austria. At first glance, the lack of a sea of parking 
and the comparatively small size of the store is striking. The store is easily accessible by tram, metro and bike. It features a large selection of smaller items, like a normal IKEA, but if you want to get a large piece of furniture, you can easily order it online and have it delivered to your house. This approach made it possible for IKEA to cut down on carbon emissions and general pollution by not relying on customers coming by car. Anyway, back to Zlichin. Lastly, the Globus department store features the store itself, a Globus branded gas station and car wash, and a KFC. It also has a large surface parking lot, but at least it also has underground parking. The closest development to the bus and metro stations is the Metropolis Lichin Mall, which is accessible through an underpass. Getting to the two other developments involves walking next to white, busy roads or taking a bus. In my opinion, bus connections shouldn't be necessary to connect parts of a shopping area to each other. If these districts weren't developed with such massive parking lots and roads, buses wouldn't be needed as much, since people could easily walk between the different stores. At least there are sidewalks connecting the different places to each other, which we definitely can't take for granted, compared to places in North America. It's a shame that the potential of the Zlichin metro station has been wasted in this way. You can get to the city center of Prague in 20 minutes by taking the B metro line from Zlichin. Instead of loads of housing and mixed-use development being built there, it's mostly just empty fields, parking lots, car-dependent shopping malls and centers, and old factories, some of which are defunct. Housing districts have been built in Zlichin, but they are quite far away from the metro station. That's why the Prague bus line with the least stops, Line 249, exists. This bus line, which has just two stops, shuttles passengers from the new housing district to the metro station and back. Shopping centers and malls don't have to be this way. For example, this is Palladium, a shopping mall right next to the old town of Prague. It's directly connected to a metro station, and there's a tram and bus stop nearby. It's one of the largest malls in the Czech Republic, and yet, it has no surface parking lots, only underground parking. Compared to Zlichin, it's clear that the designers wanted you to walk or take transit to the mall. It's also more space efficient. This mall features 11 floors, 5 of which are dedicated to shops. The rest are taken up by office space and parking. In contrast, the Metropolis Lichin Mall has most of its shops on one floor, with a few shops being on a second floor. This means that even though the Metropolis Lichin building is physically way larger than Palladium, it only has 54,000 square meters of commercial floor space, compared to Palladium's 115,000 square meters. In conclusion, North American shopping habits are spreading over the Atlantic Ocean and beyond. Let's not build huge malls at the edges of cities. The US tried that, and it didn't exactly work out great for them, with the sheer amount of dead or dying malls. Dancer shopping developments are possible, and in many cases preferable to huge boxes at the outskirts of cities. Anyway, thank you for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye! It consists of a little super- If you want to come here from the south, you'll have to get off here, at the- uh, hmm. If someone's coming from the major road on the east, they read the signs with- The closest development to the bus and metro stations are-